Greetings and salutations, and thank you for clicking on the video. Well, thank you for the nice intro, Emily, and thank you for uh, watching the video. This is cool. I bought me one of these little USB 3 to SATA 2.5 inch adapters, and let me see who made it so I can tell you exactly what it is. It's still got the packaging. Hold on, gang. It is a Sabrent connecting differently that's what it says on the box and it is a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive SSD to USB 3.0 adapter and that's what it looks like with an SSD hooked into it I've got a vertex SSD uh, OCZ vertex in there okay well I played around with that for a little while and then I got curious about something I started going through my box of old hard drives and I pulled out this three and a half inch drive that I had pulled out of my old Acer laptop. This has been like two and a half years ago. And it was loaded with Ubuntu 1404 at the time. And I plugged it in and booted the computer that I'm doing this video off of it. And it worked. And you are actually looking at that installation right now. That's what's running and it's running off of this USB 3 to SSD adapter which the drive that I'm using is actually a spinning drive but it doesn't seem to care and so all I had to do was to boot this up and update the system and now it works so let's uh, dig around a little bit in the system let me open up disks and I'll show you the what we got going on for disk layout here so this is the USB drive right here and it has the original partitions on it and this is the hard drive that's in this computer that currently has Linux Mint on it so you see how that works um, open up a terminal here and I can show you that in a little bit more detail so uh, we'll do that is what we got going on so we are actually running off of SDB I think Hold on, I can tell you real quick. I'll just mount this up. And then we'll reissue that command. This will tell us. Okay, yeah. So we're actually running the operating system off of SDB. And this is the hard drive that is in the computer that ordinarily has Linux Mint on it so you see they're pretty much kind of the same drives except uh, the one that this is running off of is a Western Digital Drive now what's really cool about this is that th you can only do this with Linux I don't know of any other operating system that will allow you to take a drive that's two and a half years old and hook it up with a USB adapter and then boot it. Uh, you couldn't do this with Windows um, <laughs> and you can do it with Ubuntu. Now the reason why I'm getting away with this is because there are no proprietary drivers on this machine. They're baked into the kernel so it, there's no conflicts. Uh, like I said this drive came out of an Acer and it's now running on my HP. So I thought that was pretty awesome and I wanted to share that with you guys because uh, it's just some of the cool things you can do with Linux and I did this just because I needed a thumb drive I was looking around and I uh, was gonna buy like a 64 gigabyte thumb drive and I thought you know it'd be more fun to have this adapter and then I can just plug drives in it so this is my supercharged thumb drive right here this is my 64 gigabyte thumb drive and it's this uh, vertex OCZ SSD so pretty cool, huh? And um, you know, you have sometimes to fix a Linux system, you need to boot a live DVD. Well, that takes a long time. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to put this drive to the side, and it's going to be my backup. So if the main operating system screws up on any of my computers, I can always just boot this up and rock and roll because it works just fine. So I thought I would share that with you. Pretty cool, huh? I love Linux, man, because you can do stuff like this with it. And now I've got this really groovy nice install of Ubuntu and not only that it has all of my stuff in it and I was able to just update and upgrade 
add a couple of applications, remove a couple of others, and it worked out cool. All right, got to run. The phone's ringing. Thanks for watching, gang.